Welcome to Barnstable Today. I'm Nick Cortez. For five days this spring, the Hyannis Youth and Community Center will become the international hub of a style of figure skating known as theater on ice. From April 6th to the 10th, the HYCC will host two major theater on ice competitions, the second annual Nations Cup, featuring 30 teams of skaters from around the world competing in four separate divisions, and the 2011 U.S. Nationals, with 30 more teams coming from all corners of the United States to compete in five divisions. Earlier this week, a press conference was held at the HYCC to announce the details of what will likely be the two largest events in the center's short history. Let's take a look at some of what the event organizers had to say. The Yamath Ice Club is honored to have partnered with Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce, the Hyannis Youth and Community Center, Tony Kent Arena, and all our wonderful sponsors to bring this event to Cape Cod. Theater on Ice is a competitive skating event popular in Europe, and it is referred to as Ballet on Ice. It is a forum where the teams will take a story and present it to you on the ice surface. It is a wonderful vehicle, new vehicle, for our young skaters to get involved in. Uh, the second annual Nations Cup was brought to us via Judy Edmonds, and so was the annual Theater on Ice Nationals. This is the first time the international competition is going to be held in the United States. Last year it was held in Toulouse, France, and was attended by 30 teams from all over the world. This year, we have 30 teams also coming to small Cape Cod. We have 12 teams from the United States who qualified last year at the Nationals. We have nine teams from France. We have four from Russia. We have three from Spain, one from Australia, and one from the Ukraine. Cape Cod Chambers have a sports council uh, since about 1999, we actually used to have meetings in the in the bowels of the TD Bank building on Main Street, and um, that's where I met Judy Edmonds. But we would envision a day when Cape Cod became a major destination for spectator sports, and that would help to drive our visitor industry, especially in the shoulder season. I think this is the exact um, greatest example that we could bring to you to say, this is what we're talking about. This is what we mean when we say sports on Cape Cod can put heads in beds, can put um, families in restaurant seats, and can bring people to the Cape in April for a very significant event. This is going to put um, us on the map in a lot of ways. It is a big event. It's a major undertaking. Um, sometimes it scares me because it's a lot of time, energy, and money. But uh, we've got great partners here. We've got a, fa a fabulous facility. We know we have a world-class destination. We know that those people from around the globe are going to love Cape Cod and want to come back to visit just on their own terms. But I think what's really important here is um, people really need to understand the significance of this facility and the significance of the marketing effort that goes around filling this uh, facility with the type of event that will um, lure more people to the Cape. April, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more than 3,000 room nights in April. It's a fabulous um, effort. I think Patty uh, Lloyd has done yeoman's work in terms of organizing a lot of the moving parts around this. And there's a lot of money that we still need to raise to be able to support um, the scope of this event. But a total faith and confidence of the folks that are in the room and, and uh, my staff to get that done. I saw George Noonan, who uh, oversees the, uh, the sheets of ice, and I, I said, is this going to be a big event? He said, oh, this is going to be a big event. <laughs> and, uh, but we feel we're up to the challenge. Uh, we feel we have the, um, uh, we'll be uh, able to accommodate uh, them, and I'm sure that the community, and looking around, I see folks in the chamber and folks that own restaurants, folks that own boat lines, and I know they're all eager to be able to make this a real meaningful experience for all our visitors uh, who come to town. So we like firsts here. We like having this facility, which we think is a first. Um, we like having the fact that this is the first time this event will be held in the United States. Um, we also like collaborations, and we look forward to working with the Yarmouth Ice Club and the Chamber, our partners, on this um, to show uh, our visitors this beautiful town and, and Cape Cod. But I want them to know that while we'll be good hosts, we, I want them to also be aware that we like to win. <laughs> and uh, we expect a keep stiff competition uh, from the U.S. So we'll welcome them when they get here. And I again congratulate all of you uh, who have made this possible. Thank you.
Later, the speakers took questions from members of the press about fundraising for the events, their projected economic impact, and most importantly, what theater on ice actually is. For readers who know very little about ice skating, could you talk a little bit more about what theater on ice is? How many people are team? Is it like ice dancing? Why would you want to come see it? Well, it's a group of people. It's anywhere from 8 to 30 people. Wow. I know that's on the ice. So, you know, as a judge, we sit fairly high so we can see the entire ice surface. If we sat low, it'd be very hard to see the ice surface, although sometimes we have to. Um, it depends on the level, um, the preliminary level. We, this, this year will be the very first time that the preliminary level will be state and our national. I believe we have three, three teams. And so that's a pretty exciting thing for us. So that's where we can start growing the sport is at the lower level. Um, it's a mixture of dance, it's a mixture of pairs, it's a mixture of um, free skate, um, synchronized skating, we try not to have so much of a synchronized skating, um, and then they go out and tell a story. And there's two aspects of it. Am I going too fast? Nope. There's two aspects. There's one aspect, what we call a choreographic exercise, which is equivalent to a short program that you would see in dance or free skate. Um, and they have a theme which this year is celebration. So they have to go out and have the celebration go through that. Then they have movement, and this year it's bold, so they have to be able to show something that's really bold. And then um, then they have um, the process, which this year is cascade. You mentioned that there's still a certain amount of money to be raised. What are, what are the funds being used for? Well, what, are, so what has to be raised? Um, we ahead. have about raised about forty thousand dollars towards our hundred thousand dollar estimated budget for this event. Um, hundred plus. Hundred plus. What what is happening is, for instance, with Plymouth and Brockton, uh, when we had get on to organize this, the assumption was made that the teams would come in and rent buses and they would take care of their transportation via the buses while they were here. I began getting emails from Europe um, asking for reservations for the taxis and the local train service. They thought they were coming into somewhere like Boston that had a transportation infrastructure set up. Um, it's off season for us, which is the biggest hindrance and blessing at the same time. Uh, but I sat there going, and I called Patty, Patty, oh my God, <laughs> we have to move teams. Um, it is things like that that keep coming up, that uh, keep taking this $100,000 budget and pushing it further and further. And some of the budget would be made up by entry fees and also um, different other rebates and mm -hmm. et that we could place. So I don't want to anyone nervous, all the bills will be paid. Oh, yes. So we do have it all in the budget. So. But we have raised 40000 in sponsorship and kind, and that's unheard of. It's, we did it in two days, mm -hmm. and that was great. And how do, um, how do you attract the spectators? They come from all over the country, the world? Are they pretty local within the state? Do you advertise? Well, very enough, I guess, um, probably going to be 30 skaters on the team, or 25, that's what Chris averaged it. And just think about how many, how many parents and the coaches, so um, and the grandparents. So I mean, this place is going to be filled, um, and um, they'll probably be standing in the hallway trying to get in. Um, there's a lot anyway. You know, I'm sorry. Need the locals to come and watch it. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do. But so you, right? you want to make yeah. sure to stimulate some more interest in that. And there's a lot of teams in this area in particular. So you get many, many friends and families coming out to see it. New mm -hmm. England is very, very popular in um, for ticket information and more details on the second annual Nations Cup and the 2011 U.S. National Competition, visit www.2011nationscup.com. Well, that's all for now. I'm Nick Cortese, and we'll see you next time on Barnstable Today.